he, you gain the fact of, you know, you gain the fact of a lot of how the inner workings of the kingdom, you gain the inner workings of how the different things work, and many the different, the pirates and, and his dealings with the pirates, it's pretty in-depth. Okay. Um, the one thought I'm going to implant, well, the one set of memories I'm going to implant into his mind, though, is that I am his most trusted advisor that he believes in and trusts in everything I say. Wow, I can see where this is going to because you're Rasputin and... Oh. Anastasia! <laughs> the bro the Brodex strikes Darty says that's whack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. You. Um. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give him a, a willpower to see if he actually opposes or retains the memory, which she does not. He still fails. Um. And you. He fails. So it's okay. You are able to successfully plant the memory inside of his brain. That was just his brain. His mind attempting to reject it. Or at least okay. feebly attempting. No, even for that willpower test, he's taken some pretty hefty negatives because you completely ripped his mind open. I'm, Metaphor. I'm going to, uh, after I gain all the knowledge and now I can speak proper the language properly, mm -hmm. I'm just going to let go of his head and back away. You gotta let go of his head and back, you know, and back away. Uh, he is dizzy and groggy and just as he was you know basically he was trying to sit up then you grabbed onto him and did the mind probe and he kind of fell back to down and it takes him a while like a good few moments for him to finally like get back up as it almost just feels that his it almost seems like his he's not even used to his own body because of just how how what he's gone through mentally and his guards look up, and they are, they have drawn, they all grab their weapons. They're looking at the, mostly looking at you, and they look at the, your, uh, Chaos Hound. They're grabbing their weapons, and they're all panicked and feared, and they just real, they, you know, because they passed out. They kind of woke up hoping it was a dream. It's not. They're still backing up, and they have their swords drawn. But they also go about noticing that Duke Leofwin is, uh, you know, not feeling well and they do move in a little closer to form a bit of a barrier of themselves and him although they generally if they like the chaos warhound were to attack they would probably book it <laughs> i'm tempted because to make him growl again because he's the money he's the money that's he's our paycheck but we're not going to sacrifice our lives for this dude. I look towards him. Like, how soon can you take me to... <laughs> take me uh, to your captain? To the guards? No, I'm talking to this chick right here, the cat lady. Okay. The... Just Tara. Fluffy hey, Tara. butt. Yep. Fluffy butt. Yep. He, uh, Rasputin asked you to take him to your captain. I dumb. He's at sea at the moment. I can't do that. You potentially could radio for, uh, well, you could radio to Devona and have her tell. Uh, you will have to you tell her to send a uh, shuttlecraft over to where uh, you are pick you pick you and him up and then you go over to the the ship and wait for Frainer to come back but I got work down here to do true I'm just we saying that or, or you could tell them or here's another thing. You could tell Devona that you of this person you just met. You're not even sure what they are. Um, 
have Devona send a shuttlecraft, it picks up Rasputin, you stay here doing your crap, and it goes and drops Rasputin off. I just tell, I tell him, yeah, there's this cra there's this crazy there's this crazy uh crazy old man over here. It's obviously a psyker. Well, I don't know. He <laughs> little I mean you know enough about what what's your I mean what are your forbidden lores? I have psyker. Yeah, you uh ease well, I mean after that and from the you have what demonology uh and psychers yeah it doesn't really take yeah i'm not saying you wouldn't need to roll you kind of can put two and two together or uh one plus one plus one plus one it is zinch it is madness you know and you can tell he is a this individual is a psyker obviously also from what you see from some of the from just what happened because this guy doesn't look like he would be very tech savvy except now a door's blown open so unless this guy is stuck a demo charge to the door he's a psyker <laughs> As I got to tell him, it's like, yeah, as uh, yeah, uh, yes, uh, he, uh, he's at, he's at sea at the moment, and, at the moment, and, I can, I can, it's so like, can contact one of the people, but, he will take him a while to get back, as I can't just, you know, just can't just sit here and wait with you, because I have, I have other business I have to attend to. What business would that be? Uh, if you've, uh, since you well mind raped him, he, mind raped him, the young kids would say, you probably already know. Uh, I look at my memories. Do I know? Oh uh, yeah, you know. Well, you. Not entirely. Well, the thing is, you don't really know what's. I mean, you do. Yeah, you've what? You, oh yeah, you're okay. So forgive me. I forgot that you guys talked about it. Uh, yeah, you are able to piece some of the, from the conversation that uh, Justara has had with the uh, with the uh, with the Duke, and you do see you do piece together the uh, what Justara is meaning by, in fact, the ball that she is uh, planning on going to, so that she can talk to the princess and potentially uh, poison the prince. <laughs> I'm tempted to do a real life Rasputin here. Um, are you going to sing the song? No, it I'll is... play it on YouTube. It's Russian time. Um, I just look at her and like. What if I can expediate this? Will you take me to him? Uh, so, what do you, how do you, how, how would you, how would you, uh, speed, speed it up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is our character. Yes. Do you have, like, a time warp or something? No, 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 no. Trust me, trust me. He's implying yes you're no just, you just go there and compel them into working with you guys. Psychic bullshit wins every time. And probably roll doubles, cause a warp storm to happen that consumes the entire planet, killing everyone. I can't see a fault with this logic here. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos gods win no matter what, dude. Not really. Uh, if your child is destined to be the next uh, warlord, you just gotta fuck them all over. Yeah, but no, I I just look at it like, will you take me to him if I can expediate this process? Expediate this. And how do you plan on doing that? Do not question me on this. I shall ask the gods about this. But I want a yes or a no. 
I don't I can take you to him but after after all of after what I need to be after all uh, after what I need to be done is f through if you if you it's like he would be very if I don't do my job he would be very displeased and we would both be in trouble I go up to him, the Duke guy. Mm -hmm. Says, and I look at him. Please, his, so his soldiers to... are barring their swords at you, in which uh, are just uh, hold on, Venom. Um, his soldiers are barring their swords at you, but the Duke actually, after he recovers from this, is like, "What are you doing, Jamar? What are you doing? Put your swords down! Don't you know this is my trusted advisor, you fools?" They look, well, dumbfounded. <laughs> I guess the heresy I... train now has no brakes, motherfucker. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> yes, it keeps on choo chewing. Um, I, but they quickly shoot at... their swords, and you know, and he, are you never saying, "Are you sure about that creature, sir?" And they're pointing towards the warhound. I will leave it outside if it make if it would make you feel better. Uh, he if it stayed if it stayed out if it stayed outside, it would probably keep people away from the now destroyed door of the sewer uh, entrance. <laughs> <laughs> the Duke laughs when he looks at the hound and he shudders and he's like, "Yes, yes, do indeed. Keep that keep that creature outside if you would, my." You know, if you would, uh, you've implanted your name into him, right? Yes. Keep him outside, Rasputin. Yes. Anyways, <laughs> I am, I am, you know, if, anyways, quickly, you guards, go about fixing, go about fixing up that door. I myself am very tired and I'm going to go to bed. My lord, before you go. Yes? I urgently need to talk to your brother and the princess. The brother and the princess. Ah, indeed. Oh, ah, yes. Indeed, your. Ah, yes, indeed. I can, I can, I can arrange for you to. I can arrange for that. There is the ball being held tomorrow. There is the ball being held tomorrow night, and my bro, and my, uh, my brother, the his son, and the princess, his daughter, shall all be in attendance. I shall ensure that your name is on the list if it is not already. Yes, I would like to talk. I, I need to talk to them a little bit before the party, if that is possible. I will see what I can do. But my, you know. My, I thank you. Yes. If you will excuse me, then Rasputin, I shall go to. I shall. I shall retire to my chambers. He goes off. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to fix stuff. Wolfie's outside. Yeah, I gave him orders to guard the door and not let anyone through. He goes off. Actually, <laughs> hmm. would this be fellow? Would this be our first loyalty test? I would say yeah, yes. I wouldn't really consider it. It's not really an actual difficult task, so no. Wolfie, don't eat the gods. I mean it, Wolfie. Does 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 your hound have a history of eating oh, eating unwary people? Uh, only enemies. He did just maul that. Uh... <laughs> besides the mauled, uh, besides the mauled criminal. <laughs> oh no, he's a sweet thing. <laughs> He actually has the nicest temperament out of out of his litter. Now think about that. I'd like to see the worst of his, of his litter. 
You say that as you see him chewing on, like, some random skull he found. It's like, where did you get that? I swear he's a good puppy. Okay, so it won't yeah, be... I'm just gonna scratch the puppy loyal. for a while. <laughs> it won't be loyalty since it's not really a difficult task. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, that's kind of a routine task for him. Like, sit and guard what? the entrance. Okay, so yeah, he go the guards obviously do everything they can to fix up the door as quickly as possible, partially because the do the warhound is within scene sight and they kind of are trying to build up a barrier between it and them. As they are trying not to crap themselves while doing so. Okay. So the Duke goes uh, on tires. Uh, okay, sure do I do it. I voxing do uh, Dovan and say, and tell him that there's this person that wants to meet the captain. Then go on up and go over and say, "Oh, puppy!" and hug the out. Well, as you uh, vox me and ask for a pickup, I say, "No can do." Should those all kind of uh, the thing is, is how this will be in the storyline is this will be. What is going on right now will be what uh, Venom. She is, you know, her, her Devona is picking up weird. Uh, the crew of her ship, the crew on board the Coldest Night, is picking up some very weird aspect, weird signals from their aspects, indication of potentially a warp vessel jumping into system. Oh, so this is before the warp vessel. Yeah, I they think. haven't. They, I think, yeah, that's at least how I'm gonna have. It. Since uh, the timelines were a bit screwed up, but this is to get it so that. Uh... But don't worry, all the stuff that happened with the warp vessel and everything with Eric's character, that happened uh, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow for Clover, uh, for Clover and uh, Rasputin. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Let Rasputin do a few other things. I'm gonna go grab, put some food in my plate, and come back. Okay. So, yeah, so the main thing is, Venom, you, Devona is per picking up some weird signals of a potential warp, of warp vessels inbound. You know, the Auspects are picking up the signatures of warp jumps. I don't think you have my Fox info, eh? unless you're just borrowing Clovers. But to Rasputin? Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I don't think Rasputin knows how to use a box. No idea. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna just take um, a random guess on that thing. Yeah. Uh, while I'm waiting, I'm going to cast the runes. And... Are you personal auguring? Yes. I want to figure out the... Uh, what would be the best way to achieve the task the cat was sent on? Okay, so where is... Why would you be doing my task? No, the... Not... Yeah, the... Jazara. Jazara. Jazara, yes. Oh. Okay, okay, you gotta be a little more clear because my character's nickname is Cat. And also, oh, I had yeah, him. Sorry. Also, I had him in person, Niang. Yes. Yeah, I heard that. That was funny. <laughs> uh, but Jazara, I I want to figure out the best way to depose of the king, let the duke reign, and have the his son and daughter uh, mostly join the fold. Okay, so you're going to personal augury? Yes. Okay, then uh, do personal augury, which is a uh, challenging Cynesians. Uh, Cynesians? You yeah. do get bullshit detector. <laughs> I love the bullshit detector. It's glorious. Computer, don't fight me. The bullshit detector. What is that bullshit detector? Oh crap, it's more into my beard.
Okay. So, so that is how many degrees of stuff? That would be that four. Is do what four? Yeah. So you get doom, malign, ig, malign. Okay, so you get doom, malign influences, benign factors, and fate. Um, so you push all the way to getting fate. So as you prepare, so what type of bone? Like you just have a little bag of bones with you. Uh, I keep a bag of runes. Or uh, okay. Dude, what are I'm these runes the village exactly shaman. Made it's of? my job. What exactly um, are the runes made out of? They're made out of combination. Um, ha- one fourth is made out of a uh, bone. One fourth is made out of uh, gold, out of the gold leaf. Mm-hmm. Another is made out of. I'm trying to think of the best representation for Nurgle here. Any suggestions? Oh, it could be made out of black. Uh, I would say uh, probably like some dead a tree, tree wood for death in nature. Or also do realize tree wood is supposed to be things Nurgle's implication of nature. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. I mean, a tree is life, uh, it's death, it's nature. Okay. It's so, uh, s- sustained. <laughs> uh, one is ma- the third fourth is made out of wood, and the last is made out of sit- obsidian, fire, for the Lord of Change. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you, so basically, you prepare your bone. You know, basically, you do have, do you just uh, toss them onto the ground, or... Uh, I lay down like the cloth I have. Uh, take a pit. I cut like put some blood on the runes, then toss them. Yeah. You take some of your own blood, so you like prick your finger or something. Yes. Uh, is as you as you you feel the warp, as you prick your finger, you and you begin to as the blood drips onto the onto the ruins, you feel the warp begin to coalesce around you, as is, you, as is typical whenever you do your, uh, whenever you do your purse augury, you're viewing into the future. Um, okay, let's see, how can I write this? And as you toss them, you gain, let's see, so, doom, benign, so fate. Psychers, let's see, the greatest peril vague hint of what is to come. That's a question, is what is the greatest peril to face? That is debatable. Okay, I'm going to eeny, meeny, miny. Okay, they are. Actually, ah, okay, okay, I know how to do it. Okay. I had to think about which of the perils I have faced against you are actually the true, most dangerous peril. Um, but anyways... With, uh, crap, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, anyways, with, as you toss the bones, as you toss the bones, the, the notes, as the warp, in a, or at least in your mind, you yourself, <laughs> <laughs> and use your mind, I'm trying to be serious here, in your mind, as Sorry. you, as you peer into the future, as you, is in your as you see the warp itself, uh, not reality, it rip open in reality, but the warp itself rip open to show the future through your psychic sense. It's you're not creating a miniature warp portal in reality. No, you're not doing that. Um, but as you that opens, you see some of the ruins ch- car become become uh become twisted and corrupted especially those made out of wood the ruins made out of wood in your mind's eye to coalesce together into a tree into coalesce together first small ones that get a creature that gets bigger and bigger drips of mucus and pus and disease and as and as 
you mucus and pucket pus and disease and as the and it and it strikes out at uh where's the ones where's the ruins in the way of slanesh that are some that are representation of slanesh and zinch uh maybe a zinch flame would be, for zinch zinch would be opposite of nurgle and slanesh would probably be the no left. i mean what's the what's the representations in the little tabs in the little oh thing? the uh, obsidian and the leaf Obsidian leaf or zinch and yeah, uh, the, the obsidian, slanesh. the obsidian zinch, the gold is slanesh. Okay, the it strikes out at the obsidian and gold ruins, just you know, burn you know, you know, strikes out even as the uh, as they coalesce together to try to uh, fend off this mighty creature, and everything as it fights them off, they themselves become corroded and cur. The gold and obsidian pieces become corroded and cor and, dise and disease themselves until they are absorbed by this monstrous creature. Gains Piker gains intuition of the Sarga Tiger's doom and further two negative influences that the target will face. As you know, as then. But as, but then the creature itself evaporates into air, into air and cold, you know, bursts apart into many different individual, individual back. It basically bursts apart back into all the little tablets it were, it was, and those tablets reform together into massive, massive vessels, massive, massive vessels. That you know, that appear from 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 the warp itself. That appear to the from the warp itself. Um, yeah, massive vessels that appear from the warp itself, and they rain fire down upon, and they rain fire down upon the planet, Just, you know, killing millions, killing you know. Rain fire down. Oh damn it! I'm oh, keep on screwing up on this. Rain fire down on the planet, killing, killing many, many, many of the population. And other then okay. And that is for malign influences, benign factors. The psychic gains an additional impression of the greatest advantage or weapon the target has in their possession. Is the greatest weapon or target there. Then the then it comes to then you know you see as then you see a great then you are given witnesses as your mind's eye flashes back to the ceremony you performed by slaying your son. By you know, the ceremony you performed in the ritual sacrifice of your um, of your of your son and the how you're a through to this realm through the many 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 great expanses of the galaxy itself Okay, in the psyker and they also single sentence of cryptic advice to the target. And the nine factors. The greatest advantage as they're in possession. Uh, fate is uh is aware of all the previous effects and also offers a single a sentence of cryptic advice. Ugh. Can't really come up with anything like that at the mo right now. Oh, the thing is, is, you know... Uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, 
the thing is, as as you get, see through to the ritual to your son, as he's being, as you know, he is, you know, as you view there and you view the the ritual that you performed, your son, you see then also your son's ghost as their, their body leaves their as their soul leaves their body to be consumed by the hordes of demons. And you hear his screams in the warp as the many demons of the warp rip his body to shreds. And you and you hear and you hear and you hear and you hear lo uh what is it? Okay. And you hear your son say in the end echo voice echoing in your mind. Rem remember your uh no. <laughs> no god i'm trying to actually think here and you're not helping sorry uh, all right i'll let you think <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> mm. the and as your as your son is, you hear your son's mind. You hear your son's voice echo, as you, as you, you know, as he fades away, as his soul is being torn into shreds. You hear the voice echo into your mind. You know, of uh, glory demands sacrifice, salvation. Salvation comes at a price? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, salvation comes a glory demands sacrifice, and salvation comes at a price. And that is what you see. Okay. Um, I'm writing this all down, so I'll remember it later. And okay, I'll... good. So I... You might want to and send a copy to me because I literally just made that off my top of my head. Yeah, I might ask you for like different parts, but I, I think got most of it. I'm just finishing writing down what I, I remember you saying. Mhm. Mm Put it down as Rasputin's of uh, visions. Drugs were not used in the creation of these visions. Okay, after um, the part where the, the ships fire down, uh, what was the other part after that? The ships, basically, the ships fire down and destroy, basically burn about and destroy most of the planet, killing many, killing thousands and thousands of the population. <clears throat> okay. Um, the part after that? And then that's the... That is, the, it goes through benign factors... It shows you the ritual in which you performed, uh, in which you performed the, uh, your sac your, you sacrifice your son to open the warp portal to, uh, you know, to, uh, come to this world. And how also you do know that you do have the idea that this can be used for other things. You know, and how you're able to use this ritual to cross into the realm of the gods. You know, and travel such great dimensions, you know, across the breadth of the galaxy. Okay.
Okay. Almost been at this for eight hours. Mm -hmm. And why is it saying it's a it's a it's a the greatest advantage or weapon that you have in your possession or target or quote unquote you? Okay, yeah, that is a bit better than what how I uh, wrote it down at, set it as. That is a lot better. Okay. So, uh... So, Jesse, what does... Rasputin do after encountering this? Mm, uh, I mostly sit down and then ponder and meditate upon what I've seen and then and that's really it for me after okay. explaining this bit of wisdom. Uh, what's just Tara, just Tara doing during this uh, time? Because all you know is Rasputin just sat on the ground, opened up a pouch, and tossed some weird carvings, and then was really silent for a long amount of time, staring off into the blank distance. Stop. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what to do. It's like, um, uh, psychers! <laughs> yeah, you know he's, yeah, you know that this character person, this Rasputin, as you know, they do call him, is a psyker. So it's like I'm, I, I assume it's some sort of psyker thing. <laughs> so you just kind of go about your own business then. It's it probably it, you probably get pissed at me if I do just kind of start poking him and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, hey, you, why are you standing still so much? Hey, you, you! Yeah, no. Plus, I have other work to do, remember? I yeah, you go, sleep, you go and back... I have, and, and I have to get sleep for the next uh, for the next day. <laughs> you probably, you do have the uh, concoction made for the prince. So, that is, or the king, if you choose to also put it in the king's food, or drinks. Um, you have that already, you have that made, so you go... You can, you can go to sleep if you want to. Unless I have like something, uh, unless there's like something I particularly need to be doing right now, because apparently not it's exactly it's, it, it's kind of dark right now. It's and it's, and it's not it's it's kind of dark right now and whatnot. So it's nothing I really need. Unless to you want to call up. Uh, wait, okay. Did you call up? Uh, 
Wait, okay. While Rasputin's doing his little vision thingy, did you call up uh, Devona and tell her about yeah. Rasputin? Yeah, I did. Okay, and you asked for the transport, but she and herself is viewing the, uh, you know, she's getting reports of warp vessels potentially incoming. And I tell Clover that, uh, as further notice, the shadow is closed. Yeah. Is grounded. Okay. Because, uh, we're just seeing all sudden all these ship readings and we have no idea what's going on and we're going into our evasive maneuver part or has that not started yet we're now scanning the area for rocks and caves Man, yeah okay wait you forgot something venom what you forgot something. You you're talking as Devona. You have to say something. No. <laughs> I actually was I wasn't quoting her. I was just relaying a message uh, that happened uh, while he was okay. in the vision. Sorry, I just... God, I'm never gonna get... I was just, I was just... I'm never gonna get over that. That's just really funny to hear. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, okay, let's attempt to be serious. Well, at least I have to. Um, Before the prince so yeah, sits so himself. If... Okay, so what time? We're getting to uh, 6.37. Yeah. Um, we can start ending it. We can start ending it here. Yeah. If you want to, and then as, uh, or, or better yet, we go to, in order to get Clover and, uh, uh, you know, Jezatar and Rasputin's thing up to date, they do, you know, they go through their day, you know, they can't really, well, Rasputin, are you going to plan on doing anything? Because, you know, you technically can't do much. I'm pretty sure Jezatar has told you to wait um, I'm going, the only thing I'd probably be doing is getting more information about the family, and then trying to figure out what he wants to do with the other family members. Okay, does, does, uh, Jezatar have a game plan on that? Uh, what do you say, what is he asking? What do you want to do with the prince, princess, the king, and the prince? <sighs> Uh, yeah, I'd say I'll make the princess disappear, uh, disappear in my own way, and I'm going to uh, hold the little concoction. I'm going to slip the prince a little bit of this. It won't. It. Well, it's not going to immediately kill him, so we don't cause suspicion. It's cause suspicion, but it will do the job. Hmm. Well, generally, you know, or, okay, uh, what? continue. No, DM, go. DM, talk. Uh, no, you know, you guys continue. I was just gonna... Okay, if you, as your guys are talking, go ahead. Hmm. What do you have planned? Do you have anything planned in particular about the princess? We could always... It's, I have always have a need for helping hands. She's 13. That gets you five to ten. <laughs> <laughs> and hasn't he already taken like a nine year old from the tavern? No, that one was like sixteen. Oh. Still, that's kind of that's actually adult for a feudo. Do not. Don't worry. In about a feudal in, in a feudal world, being like twelve is an adult. That depends on the depends on the feudal culture. For for different societies at different ages. For the Japanese society, the uh, was it the age the 
ceremony of coming to age ceremony was held when a boy, when a person became 15. Yeah, but we're basing this off of the England. But just saying, but just saying, we're just, it could be, you know, it's kind of just, you know, yeah, or mid to mid to mid teens is generally. But you got to remember, this place is, uh, I mean, how often do they bathe out here on this planet? No. Considering the water is toxic, that's not really cool for them. Yeah, so... But, uh, it, about as common as they did back in the feudal era. Yeah, in the feudal era, they actually didn't bathe that, all that often, and they had poor yeah, health but it, because the of that. Era, the, the age, the how people didn't live X amount of years, that was heavily skewed by childhood births. By childhood deaths, I mean. Yeah. I mean, if you managed to live past your childhood and weren't caught up in some major conflict, you could generally see to live at least 50 or 60 years. No, that's pushing it. As long, no, still, as long as you weren't caught up in some major conflict or you didn't catch, you know, some disease that, some one of the diseases that kills you. And there was a lot of diseases. My small hey. or typhus. Hey, or... hey, I, hey, I could, tr I could train them. I can, tr I can train them to be. I can train them in house duties and whatnot, and make them all pr uh, teach them how to be prim and proper, and sell them, f uh, sell them for money. Heck, you have to have something to kill time when you're long work trials. Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> just. Okay, so anyways, back to that, is, uh, the fact that, uh, you know, uh, so basically, yeah, you kind of, uh, Jezatar, or Clover, you have, uh, told, uh, Rasputin what your plans are. And, you know, Rasputin, do you agree with these, or do you want to do a mm -hmm. modification? We just have to get... You just need to make the prince go away, correct? Well, insert, explain dis, uh, explains dysentery of uh, dying through shitting so much you sh uh, that you start bleeding from your ass lethally. <laughs> that is a horrible death. The girl approves. I do not. <laughs> I, I will make. I can make him gone for good without this sickness you wish to give him. <sighs> uh, if you kill him too quickly, they'll s we're trying to. It's, I'm trying to get everything secure so we could take over. If you do it too quickly, it'll cause suspicion and well put everyone on high alert. No, I swear that he will not die quickly, nor in a way that betrays towards you. Just give me time alone with both the prince and the princess, and all will be handled. And then what do you plan to do? Hmm. I am planning to make the prince feel like he has to go on a journey to prove his manhood, you could say. And on his journey, he will suddenly have disappear in a violent hunting accident, you could say. Uh huh. Okay, then I'll use my thing as plan B if yours doesn't work. Alright. So, it is around this time that, uh, that for Jezatar, your box starts ringing off the hook. Yes. 
and this is where Devona starts uh, informing Clover that we got incoming. And Fluffy that is it. Fluffy butt. Hey, I, uh, I want to let you know you got some trouble coming your way. Looks like a squad of rogue trader troopers are heading straight for your location. This would be, of course, after I met the... Well, then, no, this is... You told... Didn't you tell Clover that as the ships are... You said you would... Jen, you would have informed Clover. I as... did, but remember, uh, because I didn't know what was going on, and since Clover was offline... I said uh, to uh, uh, John's character, uh, I couldn't get in contact with her. Oh, okay. Okay. So this would be, yes, this would be after you uh, met, you, after you, uh, yeah, met with uh, Eric's character. Yeah. Yeah. So basically the main thing Clover is, is no. that... Okay, basically the main thing in Clover is is that uh, Devona has detected multiple warp vessels appearing out uh, into system. And she is, you know, from her, from her aspect, she has detected a raider and two frigate-class vessels. And so basically, uh, you know, she tells... She tells... Uh, she... Uh, yeah, Devona calls Clover, tells, uh, calls Jazatara, tells her, and she calls Froner, telling him, and then she decides, then she uses the ship's auspects to find a cave, uh, large enough to hide the ship, so the, so they at least, you know, at least can h attempt to hide from the enemy. However, in the process, the, but, uh, however, the, the ships up above do detect the uh, the coldest night moving and send a few uh, in Aquila landers, Aquila lander uh, craft, to investigate, while sending other Aquila landers to other areas to uh, sc scope out the pop, scope out the planet, you know. Overwatch, you know, overwatch the population, see, you know, if this can be, you know, if this can be a suitable planet, because this is, in fact, uh, forces of a rogue trader who is seeking to have this world become a colony. Um, then we spent about a good two hours having uh, Eric's character, whose name is uh, Conrad Vanden, who is currently under the employ of this the said rogue trader. However, he secretly worships the dark gods. Um, him talking with Devona and them relaying messages back to Froner and uh, the rogue trader. Yeah. And Jen, you know, and generally the main idea is it's gotten to the point where the road trader and Froner have decided to broker an agreement to not broker broker a meeting at Skull Cove, which Froner has, uh, which Froner is currently at right now. And recently took over. Yes. But Devona doesn't know that, so she can't tell Clover. <laughs> yeah, she. But yeah, but that's gen. That generally is everything Clover would know now. Yeah. Or Desitar would know now. She would know the rate the shuttles are heading her way. She yeah, she would know but the thing is they were heading towards the several of the Aquila landers were heading towards major population centers. They the Aquila land just for out of game, the Aquila landers have didn't not didn't, didn't just drop down in the middle of the city. They dropped more around the outskirts and had their guys fan out to try and just scope out the population. You know, they're not too sure if these, you know, because they just came to the planet, they're not too sure if these people even worship the Emperor or whatnot, or if they're mutants or app humans or, you yeah. know. Yeah, and I'm guessing the city walls would have the symbols of the Emperor on it. Yeah, they would, you know, after, you know, and it, you know, and yes, and the thing is, is even before this message came in, uh, 
you know, the rumors have gone from people from the stars coming to coming to the city, coming to Pure Hub City, and that that bit of uh, information has definitely trickled down to Jazatar. All right. Well, she now knows exactly who's coming. Uh, soldiers of a rogue trader. Mm hmm. And she now knows what to look for, uh, as I probably would relay that they look like guardsmen. Yeah, they base. They're basically the all basically would be the only people carrying around like black armor and las guns. Yeah. Hey, did they find those those two bodies I left behind? Uh, they probably did, but they didn't. The guards probably didn't know what the future just murder. They don't have any real understanding of the chaos of the chaos gods so they would have no way of deciphering the uh carvings of Slanesh and the one guy's uh multiple parts across his body as anything to do with a chaos ritual and the guy who got mauled to death well yeah they're gonna put that under a, like a suicide they're gonna be thinking maybe for a suspicious animal but you know people people in feudal work planets are generally pretty uh, superstitious to begin with so they probably could have written that off to one of the many different folklore superstitions superstitious nightmares that their people have a vampire came in and ate him yes okay just ask him Okay, so if you guys are wanting to, I'm going to actually have to be getting ready for uh, my work soon. Going to my uh, work soon, so... Yeah, I was going to say, this is a good place to quit. So yeah, so everyone, every, so currently everyone is now up to date. Yep. We're all in the same timeline. XP! Is there any, uh, is there any questions anyone has? Not the moment. Okay. Oh. So, I look forward to the great and unclean one in the Exterminatus in our near future. No, it's just not the Exterminatus, but do realize the ships above could just, like, bombard the crap out of the planet. Frano, what did you do? I asked the rogue trader a question. <laughs> he okay. didn't like so, it. So, anyways, for... Uh, okay. For Devona, since you are since you were first, and Fence, you actually did find out a relatively peaceful solution of the encounter with uh, <laughs> well, with uh, Conrad, which I was actually expecting some shooting to happen. So, uh, you will get you will get 200 experience because I thought that was really good role playing as well as the fact that you did yeah, which was a bit I did which is little not exactly that I well I won't be well okay that was added on partially because I thought that was really funny so for, I get uh, uh, 200 for uh, not killing a p PC and... no the thing is is just how how you went about it and how you two role played and how you ensured you kept your idea of who you were and your position and everything and you didn't just go just pew 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 and uh also how you're more of the negotiator and more following Franner's plans and more you know just understanding your position you didn't go off to uh meet up with Franner partially because you had the Nurgle virus on your ship and everything yeah, she kind of doesn't really give her a shit what Franner's doing with the pirates. <laughs> so yeah, so in general, I would say you gained 200 experience from that for gen some really good role playing and discussion making, and just you know, in, in a in being able to basically uh, defuse a very tense situation. Any right. in for me? Or corruption? Uh, no, you didn't really do anything particularly corruption or infamy worthy. I just had to make sure. Well, yeah. We'll save that 200 XP for later. Also, to have, okay, okay, that's, actually I'll bring that up later. 
Uh, Clover. You gain... You would gain... Uh, 100 uh, XP or barely going off with your uh, role playing and your actual yeah with you have 100 for your role playing and also for your talking with Rasputin and getting him up to date and you two generally preparing for your plan of how to eliminate about how to basically go to this ball and how to uh, <laughs> Uh, basically, you two getting getting really together, and also you relaying information back to uh, the Bona, and so on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I re no, the thing is, is that uh, for, but for uh, yeah, for Rasputin, I would say you get two hundred and fifty exp, partially because. You did a lot of different things. You were very active going around and uh, being able to also handle a few situations really differently and how you were also able to keep it so that you mind control, basically mind implanted into the noble so you didn't have to like doom bolt him. And you know, and also how you use doom bolt only when it really mattered. You didn't go all out the offensive cycle. Until necessary, until when push came to shove. All that butler had to do was open the door and he would have lived. The, the thing exactly. Is, I mean, there are so many opportunities where you could have simply just finished the situation easily and just went to combat and just doom bolt, bam. But you decided to use your other more subtle psychic powers and really try to mix around that. And I thought that was really good on your part. And you scream for help Thank and you. let the gods kill each other. Okay. Now, for either of you, have either of you hit one uh, uh, one thousand experience or a thousand experience? Uh, I, I got a thousand fifty. Yeah, I just hit a thousand fifty as well. Okay, you both get one free characteristic point, which you can put into any characteristic you feel like putting it into. Like just. You could put it into fellowship if you want to, or strength if you want to. Or no, no, I'm, I'm trying to. God knows, it, God knows, I don't need that. Um, so it's a just a single point. It's not like yeah, it's five. a single point. It's a single point. Okay. That just shows your characters slowly progressing and improving themselves, so you don't have to mm. like dump a lot of exp into those five point advancements. Let's increase. Let's increase. Let's increase Let's my increase perception by one, because I apparently need that. Fail okay. two percept- I failed two perception rolls this time. <laughs> okay, so you can put in that. <gasps> the just, uh, Jesse, did you hit uh, 1,000 or 1,000? No, I'm getting close. Okay, so just enough. keep that in mind. Just keep in mind how many experience you got accrued throughout the entire game. And I'll just do okay. that's just that's just a rule I have. Uh, I will be getting with John and uh, telling him how much experience he got. And <laughs> well, that so obliterating that pirate prince boss. Yeah, and even though I did succeed in wounding him, which is my main objective. Oh, you scratched me! Keep it up. No, no I he... I did six wounds to him. Yeah, he he actually hit him pretty hard. I so could've John, explored. John didn't pull a compadre. He's like, "Oh, you managed to cut me." Well, initially, when he, when the pirate prince pulled out his punch dagger and just, you know, didn't do anything to John. And then he ended up doing the same thing. It's like time to feel the pain. Oh, I just nicked you. Oh yeah. boy. <laughs> and that's when he got obliterated. Yeah, I just. Yeah, I was really, I was playing as the pirate prince in charge, I was playing as the pirate in charge of uh, Skull Cove at the moment, and he, which he, him and Froner were arguing back and forth of who should be the commander, and Froner was trying to bring him over as his lieutenant, and, you know, basically to keep the pirate's planet side under, under control, and that's, uh, that, 
a pirate just you know you know being a worshiper of chaos which he was he actually did worship slanesh he did not want to bow down to froner and so he decided to attempt to kill froner and hopefully he was seen to hopefully kill froner and take control of Froner's ship because he's been he's bored of this world and wants to explore the many worlds across the galaxy in the name of Slanesh, spreading debauchery and hedonism all around. Of course that didn't end up so well for him. Yeah. He ended up in pieces. Oh. Too bad Frowner didn't get any bonus XP for say, rest in pieces. No, I don't. Oh, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, I will be getting that. I will be getting the EXP for Eric and uh, Eric and John. Uh, for Miles, I will be talking to him sometime before next. Oh, next session because he yeah. could not. Uh, yeah, he could not uh, talk. He could not be be involved because of uh, the fact that he's at his mom's place and she has a crappy internet connection. Well, I'm going to stop the recording here.